about deleting entities, particularly in a sketch. Okay, so we're going to open up a new part. We're going to left click on our front plane and go into sketch mode. Okay, and let's create a box. Let's give it a couple of smart dimensions. I'm left clicking and it's coming up with a dimension. Left click comes up with that dimension and I'm typing them in. You probably can hear it because I'm pounding on the keyboard. Uh, let's actually add a couple of more uh, pieces of geometry here. So let's make a nice big circle there and let's give ourselves a little bit of fun so we can <coughs> here is a uh, the trim command and right here if we if we did this that's going to come up and give us an error if we try and um, extrude it into a feature okay so see th see on my icon right here you see this crazy little um, yellow guy with a hole in it it's gonna say that you need to pick pieces that you want to deal with and if I do this of course that's gonna give me that's gonna allow me to extrude but you know this it's it's not as clean as I want it so we just want to jump back in here um, actually what we want to do is over here this is our feature manager I want to because we made it an extrusion it's now a feature alright so actually why don't we go back in and say let's edit the sketch so we're going to hit this left click on that plus sign hover over the sketch right mouse click and up here let's edit the sketch I'm gonna left click on normal again this orientation bar can be found by simply hitting your spacebar and we're gonna use a trim command and there's a, a bunch of ways to use your trim um, I'm gonna use trim closest okay so basically if you hover over something that's gonna trim it away see how it's orange well I don't want to trim that guy I want to trim just this guy. Now what you can see is up here doesn't turn orange and down here it doesn't turn orange because it's smart enough to understand that I want to left click on that guy. Alright, now if we click OK and we click on that to close our sketch, we can go back in and double check what one thing you know one thing I don't like I don't like to see this um, I don't like to see that icon so what I want to do is just back up a little bit I'm going to right click on my feature extrusion and delete the extrusion when you delete the extrusion what's left is the sketch which is perfect so I want to right click on the sketch edit it and just double check to make sure there hasn't been any leftover uh, geometry alright so I like that we're gonna go into our feature hit extrude call this five inches click OK let's hit our left click on the plus and beautiful we have our sketch we have a perfectly legitimate sketch sketch plane and we can go back in and go normal to and say you know I need to put a feature right here and we're gonna use the trim button we want to trim this and we want to trim this guy the sketch segment being midpoint equal length trim the segment will delete the relation do you want to continue yes and that was just basically saying there's a midpoint relation here if we delete this line that relationship is going to be disintegrated which is fine because um, 
we've already put the geometry there so we know that's at three inches if you positively need that as a critical screw hole you go in and dimension it and now the center point of that circle is three inches it's not going to move we've edited the sketch and now we're going to exit the sketch we will peek at our geometry and sure enough our edited change in the sketch uh, shows up in our extrusion hope you enjoyed this one we'll see you on the next one